which is a trip. You know, when you think about how young you guys were, how tiny you guys were. No, I mean, they, they, to me, my, my first recollection of you three, you were so much smaller than our freshmen that we have now. Shorts. Right? I mean, board shorts and jammers and, uh, you know. So, yeah, a Speedo. No one, no one wore a Speedo that was smaller than the one I ordered for Parker. <laughs> right? No, like, that's, not a, that's not even an exaggeration. Um, but yeah, boys, you three collectively have accomplished more in our program than any class has. You guys are the most successful. You guys have won two state championships. You guys have played in the most games. You guys have won the most games. Um, you guys, I think, have, have probably left the biggest impact on the program that uh, of any group of seniors that I've had. Um, so I'm just going to get rolling through these things. Uh, let's start with Tayton Fall. <laughs> time, I remember going home and telling Brandy, you know, I honestly think this kid Tayton, he might end up being the best player I ever coach. And I think I was right. I think as far as athletic ability, I think as far as all around game, uh, I think you're the best player ever coach. It's, you know, uh, it's not a knock on any of you guys. There's always someone better than us. Um, but, you know, when I get in and, and hop in and guard you, it's just not even close. Uh, my loss. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's not just strength. Uh, it's not just strength, but it's a bizarre speed that doesn't make sense. It kind of defies, like, the laws of nature. Like, you're supposed to be able to be faster swimming with your head down. He's faster swimming with his head up. No, it's, we've timed it. It's true. Um, it's weird. Um, no one can get up higher than you. No one can shoot harder than you. No one can paint corners like you. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch. It was, it was a ton of fun to watch. Uh, watching you push kids out of the set where they just gave up. Um, you know, it kind of played to what I've always wanted, which is just physically and mentally, emotionally drain them. And uh, you did that to pretty much every opponent that you face. Um, an absolute joy to coach. Incredibly coachable kid. Always listening. Always responding to me. Um, always answering yes, coach. Always uh, making eye contact. Always trying to improve. Um, there's not much more you can ask for as a coach, right? Like someone who's naturally gifted and incredibly driven. Uh, you're a great student. You have a work ethic that most kids your age don't have. Varsity basketball player. I mean, it's like the list can go on and on. And he would be, he would be ranked, honestly, like if, if you could learn how to flip turn, Right. Like, if you could learn how to kick turn, you would be a top 10, 50 freestyle. I mean, it's bizarre, right? I mean, it's like... With his head up. With his head up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's true, though. I mean, I'm not offended by that. <laughs> it's true. So, you know, it's like one of those things that, I, that I've always... It's always one of those things where it's like, you see it when they're young, and then see it come to fruition, you know, it was a joy. Very, I mean, I just 
to all you seniors, just wish like one more game, one more week, you know, but you don't always get what you want.